I want to have sex with a guy that's such a douchebag that afterwards my vagina smells cleaner and is medicated because he's literally a douchebag. <laughs> I'm Esther. I like a guy who I can control. And if he doesn't have a car, it's a lot easier. My friends call me Little Esther, because I'm short. Well, everyone's above me in my whole life. <laughs> and adorable. Even though I'm only 24, I've been a stand-up comedian for four years now. And people always think I'm a teenager. I'm like, excuse me, um, do real teenagers have mustaches? I dropped out of college to move to LA to pursue my dreams. Hello, Destiny. Of course, my parents were thrilled. She told me, fuck off. I'm going to California with or without you. Most of my friends are comedians. Esther, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love them, but they don't make it easy. I don't trivialize my medical conditions because I'm not in denial. In the comedy world, we came up in a class of our own, kind of like high school. If you were a Disney character, would you say that you were Iago or Jafar? <laughs> Despite all the craziness, we work really hard at this. There's Sandy, an amazing comic with great advice. If a guy just puts it in and then takes it out, is it considered sex? Girls don't count that, but guys do. Rick, quick-witted and always a confidence booster. Man, you lost a little weight, you look like a hamster oh. again. And Carlos, AKA Couch Boy, He's a much better writer than comedian. Maybe that's why he bombs all the time. I'm having a bad hair year. Sorry. When I need girl time, there's Chantel, Sandy's friend from high school, a supermodel in denial. You're not fat. I don't like your shoes, but you're not fat. Being a part of a boys club can be a bit strange at times. I don't want it. I don't have any infections, you guys. Prove it. But I wouldn't have it any other way. It's it's darling. It's for Rick! It's not easy being a comedian. There's a lot of rejection. And not a lot of money. I'm supposed to make $15 for my performance tonight and I need to get it. But that's funny, right? I'm legitimately freaking out about my parents coming to town. When your parents come to town, it's the worst. Because they're not used to the traffic and the parking situation. And coming from the Midwest, where there's relatively no traffic and you can park anywhere, they take their anger out on you because they're in a big city and they don't get it. That actually happens to you? Yeah, my dad oh. has real anger issues. Oh, my dad, last time he was here, he just left you LA. Disappears. I know. Who's gonna drive to the gig tomorrow? I am. Good, because I don't have room in my home slash car. You live in your car? I live out of my car. At least you live in a car and not on a couch. <laughs> I live in the present, which happens to find me sleeping on a futon. <laughs> so what time are you gonna pick us up? Road trip. Road, road trip. I have other friends that I like a lot more than you guys. Same. I don't. I had to pay for you guys to be here. Yeah. We were purchased yeah. with a group on. <laughs> I'll find a boyfriend soon and it won't matter. But I mean, you don't stop hanging out with your friends when you find a boyfriend. How would you know? You've, I've never because found Because your boyfriends one. only like to hang out late at night. <laughs> <laughs> I feel hip hop. You look like you're auditioning for Mob Wives. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah. Wait, who's hungry and who's not? I'm starving. I'm hungry. Okay. Can I do all your road rage? Yeah. Because I'm really angry right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I want Chinese food. I want an Antonio's meatball sub with garlic. I'm so hungry, I'm pretty. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Hey, if they go to sleep, you could just start doing some stuff. <laughs> What's, what is this? What? Any of this. I just want to eat. Will Smith wouldn't do this. <laughs> I'm trying to base all my career decisions on what Will Smith would do when he was where I am. Rag city chick, rag rag city chick. Hey, 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 hey. City chick, rack, rack, city chick. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. Do you think that's spicy? Yeah, my mouth hurts. Oh my god. So does my stomach now. 
I know that I don't like spicy stuff, so I never make that mistake. Yeah. And me then too. to make it at a time where I'm so vulnerable. Oh God. What just happened to you? Sandy, what is honestly happening What's to you? Happening? My stomach hurts. <laughs> you ate those spicy nachos too fast. I told you to slow down. You know, we have a job in like 45 minutes. We gotta go. I have to go to the bathroom. You realize we're gonna be late for the Hold show. Can I get in your car real quick? No. You wanna go to the bathroom in my car? You're pooping, it's gonna make us late to the show. Sandy, did you, did you do it? No, they're temporarily closed. Did you get my text? No. There's a sign on the door that says we are temporarily close. I banged on the door. She said, no, did you lo siento. Where did you shit? It's in me. We have to go to another exit. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you sent us a picture. It's a sad face. We're late. It doesn't even matter. I don't care. I'm going to shit in your car. I'm not sitting in the back if Sandy's going to shit the car. Your breath smells way worse than my shit. <laughs> That's not my fault. That's not funny, you guys. Rick, stop it. That's not fucking funny. <laughs> Oh we my god. I don't want to go. I'm going to get more tacos. It's fine. Esther, are you getting something to eat before we go? I am. I'm going to get a job here and I'm going to set up shop and I'm going to have a family and churros. Esther, <laughs> there you go. What? Get in. I want to make the $15. The don't fucking. Classic joke. It's not fucking funny. You this is not text. funny. I'm supposed to make $15 for my performance tonight and I need to get okay. it. Esther, how do I get to the freeway from here? Which way is the 10? I don't know. We're talking about a girl, not the freeway. Yeah. <laughs> we already know where the 5 is. That's <laughs> just the 5 south going down. Can we seriously get out of here? What? <laughs> oh, no. I have not to Late. Sorry about that. Guys. So I'm gonna let them know you're gonna go up next. Am I next? Yeah. So make it noise, Ontario, for Esther. I feel like I'm always trying to figure out where I stand. Like, I've discovered I'm a 7 out of 10 in the Midwest. <laughs> on the East Coast, and then in Southern California, I'm a Cocker Spaniel. I uh, saw a beautiful woman the other day. Well, her, so let, me, let, me, let, me, let me clarify. Her body was a 10, but she had butter all over her face. <laughs> Pretty face, but like, get rid of the butter. You know what I mean? It's 2012. <laughs> what kind of girl am I into? I'm into the kind of girl that's like an article of clothing from Marshalls. Looks designer, but there's something really fucked up about it. Good job, guys, for real. Thank you. I might go hang out, I don't know. I, I might go to sleep, I don't... You always go to bed early. I go home at 10 o'clock, I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed early, and then I lay in bed on Facebook and on Twitter until... Looking four. for validation, masturbate, <gasps> think about eating, and just go to bed sad, because I have that problem too. <laughs> It's weird, like sometimes I can go on stage and just like, boom, you know, I have it. And then if like the heavy hitters are in the room, like the people that we look up to. I can't care about that. I know, but I, I, I like only think about them. While I'm on stage, I just think about what is he thinking. Just care about doing well. Right. You, know, you know you're funny. So if I you're just- I hate myself. You hate yourself. I hate myself too, but I figured out how to like myself for five and 10 minutes at a time while I'm on stage. <laughs> Enough to make other people be like, hey, he likes himself enough for me to like it. <laughs> Rick, do you think I'm pretty? Yeah. I do, really. You think I'm pretty? Yeah. But? There's no but. And? And I think you're nice. That's why I hang out with you. But? But I'm getting hungry, so if we could get a chicken sandwich. What's up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you eaten yet? No. Have you? Fries, peach cobbler. All right. Seriously? Yeah, there's some of my peach cobbler in the garbage if you want it. <laughs> I don't eat things out of the garbage anymore. Two to one says when you smell it, you're going to eat it. No, I'm not eating garbage cobbler. <laughs> it smells pretty good. Get him a fork. Yeah, Esther wants a mac and cheese Shut up. and the no. boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you know that I was in a pie eating contest yesterday? I used to do pie eating contests when I was a little kid and I always won them. I was disappointed because I thought it would be how many pies you can eat and it was just how fast can you eat one pie? Well, it's a good thing I wasn't there. Why? I just found out I have high cholesterol. Sandy, what? Are you okay? It's dangerous, I can't keep eating like this. I can't afford Lipitor, so. What does it do to you? Lowers your cholesterol as long as you're on it, but then I would have to like find a black market dealer of Lipitor or go to Mexico to get it. We're not too far from Mexico. I just want to start eating healthy. It's a good excuse to start eating healthy. Oh, well, you're not though. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Esther. You should probably get tested for your cholesterol too. What's the point of knowing? I'm 24 years old. Yeah, I know. And that would be the most pathetic heart attack of all time. <laughs> 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 Sadie has a high cholesterol laugh. <laughs> I'm, when I laugh, butter comes out of my mouth. Oh. <laughs> Do I laugh like it? You laugh like a six. <laughs> you laugh like a five who thinks she's a six. Yeah. <laughs> no, Excuse me, so based sticky. on looks alone, who would you say is the six or the five? Out of a 10 on attractive yeah. scale. On attractive scale? Yeah, who would you say is a six or a five? The woman. No. <laughs> very good, thank you. Thank you very much. You don't need doctors, you just need judgment. <laughs> Every time a guy comes on your stomach, he's telling you, you're not the one. <laughs> just get a towel, clear it off. Those babies are for somebody else. Where are you going? I don't know, it's loud in there and there's all these freaks. <laughs> Are you still dating that douchebag? No. Are you, are you still, still sleeping with him? No, are you still dating with your douchebag? No, are you still your sleeping? height. I'm not ever dating anyone shorter than me ever again in my life. That's rough. Don't you usually sleep with like someone in your stand-up like group of friends? Your first two years in comedy, you're just fucking all the other comedians. Okay, that, I made it sound way worse than it was. You have sex with one comedian, and then you guys move in together to save money, and then you get a dog. Oh, to save money so it's not like, oh, our dreams are gonna come true together. It's more like we need to live together because we don't have any money. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> How are you ever gonna have sex in shoes like that? You don't wear shoes during sex. So why don't we go shopping and get you some heels so you're at least maybe to like here. I feel like girls feel like they have to wear heels to feel pretty and it's like I'd rather just it's feel not to ugly. feel pretty, it's so that you feel skinnier. Oh really? We're gonna have a girls' night out, okay? <laughs> that is the dumbest. Like a real girls' night out. Yes, <laughs> Are those your friends? Yeah. Are those comedians? Yeah. Did you sleep with one of them? No, probably not, maybe, I don't uh -oh, know. Uh-oh, here they come. I told you you're a liar. You're a little sleuth, aren't you? <laughs> no. You are. You're a comedian sleuth. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but you don't have to skip. Don't skip. That's weird. <laughs> don't be weird. So. Sit down. Sandy, don't fuck. Sandy! Are you kidding me? Those are my clean clothes. Don't put them on the floor. We gotta talk, okay? Right. It's like everywhere you go, you turn it into... My space. Yeah. Yeah. I'm aggressively comfortable. I'm starting to kind of freak out. Why? Because I just found this article. High cholesterol in younger men linked to increased long-term risk of death from heart disease. Look at this. Obesity. Are you obese? No. I mean, I know you don't think you are, but legally, are you? Legally, I don't think it is a category obesity goes under. I think medically, um, well, it if is, you but were, I'm not. If I'm you not. were obese, it would say it on your driver's license. Really? I thought so. No, that's not true. You don't smoke. That's good. Yeah. You don't have sex. That's bad. I do have sex. Sandy, fours don't count. Siri. What's the life expectancy of a 28-year-old who's under five foot five with high? I'm not under five foot five. Who's under five foot six? I'm five foot six. Searching the Jesus web for short dot guys that don't have sex. Give me that. No, Siri. What's the life expectancy? You're doing it wrong. 
For someone who gets extremely angry at nothing. Sandy, I'm getting attached to you as a friend, and now I don't know how long you're going to be around. Heart risk factors cut lifespan by 10 years. In the hotel room that you die in, they're not going to find lines of cocaine cut up on a mirror. They're going to find lines of Parmesan cheese. I take that as a compliment as you saying that I will die in a hotel room because I'm going to be really successful. It's going to be Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> <laughs> but those are pretty nice. I mean, have you ever stayed at one? They're not bad. <laughs> the cholesterol laugh! I guess I haven't taken enough steps to get rid of my cholesterol yet. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Don't do it in my bed. One second. What's up? Yo. I don't have any energy ever. It's because you eat stuff like that. Sandy, don't start judging me. I, it's not like I don't want to eat that. I just can't because of my cholesterol. I don't have high cholesterol. I do have high cholesterol. And you do too, because you know what? We eat the same stuff. I had to eat beets from the Whole food salad bar and grains and quinoa. That's ridiculous. I'm 24. I'm going to eat whatever I want until I'm dead when I'm 27. At some point, the seriousness of this is going to kick in. You need to get tested. You could die. Ugh. Your name is in the word cholesterol. <laughs> Esther is in cholesterol. Cholesterol. And cholesterol is in Esther. You're talking to me like you have AIDS and we've had sex and now I have AIDS. This is like us having sex and have AIDS on another level because it involves food, which is in a lot of cases better than sex. And links us romantically. Esther, I'm just trying to look out for you. Maybe if you got tested, you could prove me wrong and that you don't have high cholesterol. Okay, fine. So you're gonna get tested for cholesterol? I'm gonna go into the master cleanse and be the next Beyonce. Sandy. I'm not kidding. This is completely ridiculous and not okay. I'm half Jewish, half regular. Uh, I'm not technically Jewish though because my mom is Christian and sexually attractive. Carlos? Hey. My parents are literally on their way to my house right now and I should probably be cleaning, but for some reason I just like don't want to and I'm not going to. Is that okay? Just hide everything in the closet, like in a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too lazy for that right now. Like, if you're a lot like your dad, then I imagine you won't look anywhere in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. I'm so scared. I'm gonna go freak out and think about how my parents are gonna kill me, and I'll see you later today. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Pepper! Pepper! Don't I get a hug? Hi, honey. How are you? How are you? Hello. <laughs> Give me a kiss. Wow, what a nice clean place. <laughs> well, what's for dinner? What do you want it to be? Well, we know you don't know how to cook, so. Yo. Yo. Hi guys. Hello. What's going on? I'm Carlos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Not my How boyfriend. You? Oh, you live here? Uh, yeah. Well, sometimes she lets me sleep on the couch. That's good. So are you going to join us for dinner? You've known him for one minute. People like me for like five minutes. And then what happens? You just work. get over me. <laughs> How old are you? 25. 24? 25? Mom, mom, no, I don't no. want to date Esther. Mom. No, never. He's like no. five foot three. I like your parents a lot, Esther. It's very nice of you, Carlos. You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> it's you been five to... minutes. <laughs> Wait, you're supposed to be cooking for them, I thought. That was the whole plan. Oh, look at that. I always end up cooking. When we, she first moved out here, we were foot in the bill. She makes 20 bucks an hour as a babysitter. When I do weekends of comedy, I make enough money to pay my rent. She now makes enough money so that she doesn't take money from us. And yeah. I make more money in 15 minutes than a Starbucks employee right. makes it an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, but they're, they're $15. <laughs> <laughs> 
Glass, please. Ask Carlos. He's my servant. No, actually, that's actually, not true. I think you two would be a real cute couple. That's disgusting, yeah, and I'm not even. No, no. Am seriously? I such a bad-looking guy? No, Carlos. No, it's just you. Man. No. <laughs> Get together. No. <laughs> no, just side no, by we're side. Not gonna, no, mom, stop, please. You're embarrassing me. No. Please, no, it's not. I, stop. No, I just so want you to stand next to him. <gasps> Look. Look, oh I think that. <laughs> <laughs> Never come around me again. <laughs> Why would you say that, Dad? You eat too much. Unless you marry her. What? If you marry her, you can come around. Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. Why does she do that? <laughs> Esther! <laughs> Holy cow! So I hate to leave you with this mess. Alrighty, I love you. I love you too. Okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Come on now, let me go. No. Let me go. Come on. meet me, they always tell me the hottest thing about me is my mom. I'm so confident from it. My friends are assholes. This is insane. Glad you finally came around. First check, home cholesterol test. Here, let me. Read all the directions first. Prick finger with enclosed lancet. Place blood in the well of the test kit. Wait 12 minutes and read your test results. I don't want to do it. You have to. I'll I... do it to you. I'll cholesterol test rape you. No. Ow! 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 It ow! It did not hurt. Well, how do we know what cholesterol is good and what's bad? Uh, 200 to 239. Borderline. Borderline high. <laughs> What were you last time you tested? I was 230. Oh my god, wait a second. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, mine's already fucking high, are you kidding? Whoa, yours is getting Shut high. Shut up, this isn't funny. Um, okay, well, it's 287. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey. It's gonna be okay. Do you want to go to Pink's? <laughs> this is like makeup sex for fat people. <laughs> I wake up to the morning sun. When did my life stop being so Next on Little Esther. It's like if a guy wants to have sex with me, it shouldn't matter that I have hair on my legs. You don't listen to good enough music to have those legs. You look like you're going to Bonnaroo. She's got to shave her armpits and her legs and her mustache and her back and her butt. I feel like you could leave the pubic area to me. I start! Rick, stop! Rick, fucking stop right now! Ow! Ow! It hurts! Do you feel any better? No, I told you, I actually feel worse. A lot of guys are here and they can make you feel less lonely. <laughs> You look so ugly. I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Slow down, Esther. Slow down. What do you think of me? First, you're gonna make eye contact. Chantel, you're yeah. trying to set me up with a 16-year-old. Don't tell me this is the guy. Yeah. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Why are you still in a onesie? Why are you not still in a onesie? <laughs> is this really happening right now? <laughs> you have a suitcase? Yeah. Are you all a size zero? So I bought you some shoes. No. Yes. Sometimes I wonder how chicks did before Instagram. <laughs> To be witty comes with a price. I'll fuck you, bro. <laughs> I paid my rent for all of 2011 with my bar mitzvah money, and now I don't have any. Sunday! You're one molestation away from being a porn star. <laughs> Come on, don't you guys like boobs? Hello? 
I usually feel like I don't need you and I'm good, but I, well, you know what That's I mean. That's so rude. No, but I feel like I don't need girls. I feel like I can just be a comedian and it'd be okay, but I really need you.